half space between every layer of logs, and just like the two plus six here also, we want to dry the cedar very slowly. The slower you dry it, the less checking and cracking there is. Cedar starts out off the saw about 25% moisture content. And, and it, I'll just throw the, the number at you. There. It weighs 3,500 pounds a cord. Pine weighs 5,000 pounds a cord. The difference is water. We want those logs to get down to around 12% moisture content. Just like a hybrid floor. You want them dry. So we dry them there. Mother Nature will take them down to around 15%. From the 24 or 25, down to 15%. We want them to 12%. So you'll see some of them that said dried on them. What they are, they've been to the kiln also. They were dry down to around 15% in the building. And we put them in the kiln, dry them down to 12%, so now they're ready to be manufactured. We want the logs really dry. That's our critical thing. Unless, you, unless they're dry, you're going to get a lot of settling, a lot of checking, a lot of, a lot of movement, if you will, and you don't want that. So you want dry logs, that's how we do it. And you'll see, as we go to the boiler and some other things, that how, how we do some of that. But that's, there's enough out there. I keep enough logs out there for 30 to 35 homes at any, at any one time. So that, and it, normally, in the summertime, it'll take me two months to dry them out there. In the wintertime, it'll take me about six months dry those logs.